So here we have an example of a present value of an annuity question. Hannah will invest into an annuity fund, paying 3,600 Rand quarterly. Okay, let's just highlight the important things. Quarterly is important. 3,600 Rand quarterly into a fund starting in three months time. Okay, what is the present value of such an annuity if Hannah makes 25 years uh, makes payments for 25 years into this fund that earns interest at 15% per annum compounded quarterly. So let's just put all of this information on a graph. Here we go, or on a timeline. Here's time zero. She's making payments every quarter. Okay, so every quarter, 3,600, 3,600 every quarter. And we want to know what is the present value. In other words, what will you give someone now if you want to charge 15% interest? Okay, so our interest is 50% interest compounded quarterly. Okay, that's per annum compounded quarterly. If they will do this for 25 years, how much will you give them right now as a lump sum? That means a big amount right now. And here's our formula. The present value of such an annuity okay, is given by this formula. 1 minus 1 plus i. And here it comes to the power negative n. That's one of the big differences in this formula divided by the interest. Okay, so let's do our stock taking. Okay, do we have our present value? Okay, do we know what the present value of a 25, or oh, it's not really 25, it's 100. Okay, I'll get to show you right now why. Do we know what the present value of 100 such investments will be? Okay, no we don't. Do we know what the investment amount is? Yes, we do, 3,600. Do we know what the interest rate is? Yes, we're told that it's 15% per annum. But we have to remember that we're not working with years, we're working with quarters. So we need to use the effective quarterly interest rate. And that is 15 divided by 4. If I get it quarterly, I get it 4 times in the year. Okay, But 15 is also a percent, so I also need to divide with 100. So if I divide with 4 and with 100, I can divide with 400. Okay. And now what about N? N is the number of payments that was made. Let's see. There's four payments in the year for 25 years. That's four times 25 and that's 100. That's where I got this 100 from. Okay. So there's 100 investments. And if I substitute all of this now into my formula, I get the following. X is 3,600. 1 plus i is 1, sorry it's not 1 plus i, it's 1 minus 1 plus and here we go 15 over 400 and very important don't forget the negative 100 exponent all of this is over 15 of 400 and let's go calculate so we've got 3600 times with the top bracket is 1 minus and then another bracket 1 plus 15 over 4 not 14 400 close that bracket okay to the power of 100 and here's the important part the negative close that bracket divided by and just since the denominator is, is um, a fraction let's just keep that fraction in a bracket 15 over 400 and close that bracket. Let's see what do we get? 93,581. 93,581 and 98. 93,581, comma 98, yes, comma 98 cents. That is the present value of this annuity. And in the next video, you will also learn that if she was taking out a loan and she promised that she can pay back on that loan 3,600 Rand 
every month for 20 every quarter I mean for 25 years the amount that the bank will give her if they want to earn 15% interest is this amount the present value of an annuity is also the value of a loan that you can get for a certain loan repayment okay but we'll look at that in the next video um, for now I hope you got this and you are feeling fine with the present value of an annuity good luck doing it on your own cheers